Dear colleagues, dear students, dear friends, very welcome to this New Year's meeting. I hope you all enjoyed some relaxing and well-deserved holidays. Unfortunately, we cannot be together live at the faculty and enjoying our almost traditional New Year's breakfast. But if we cannot yet be connected in space, at least we are connected in time and in thoughts to celebrate 2021 and look back a little bit to, for, uh, to 2020. We will do it with the means we have and we will do it with a live stream. We will have a short presentation by me and afterwards we will present the, again the student awards, the research awards and the education awards. So let's now start the presentation. So first of all, happy 2021. With all my best wishes to you, to your family and all your beloved ones. And if we look back now to 2020, I think the next slice shows everything. It shows an empty campus, a deserted Huygens building, and not because it was in the middle of the summer. It was really a strange and a difficult year. We will remember it for a long time, thanks to the corona pandemic. We can best compare it with survival. There was no script. We had to learn by doing. And, it, and with joint forces, we managed as good as possible. And it was really heartwarming to see how everyone did really their utmost best to make teaching and everything run as smoothly as possible. And there are only two words that are appropriate in this situation. And in the next slide, they are emphasized. Thank you. Thanks all of you very much to, for all your tireless efforts that you showed for such a long time already. And also, thank you from the, of, of course, of the, every one of the faculty boards. And in the next slide, I will show that with a typical image now, an iconic image to a Zoom meeting. So I think thank you from the whole of the faculty board. Thank you from Jacqueline, Nienke, Remy, Nicolo, Karen, Richard, and of course myself. Thanks a lot. And I think this is the Zoom meeting. We Zoomed as, as everyone else every week in the faculty board. And in a way it's strange, but it was distant and we couldn't meet but we also learned some other things from each other. I didn't realize, for instance, that Jacqueline had so many books and I always wondered whether they were always in the same place every meeting. And I didn't realize and I didn't know that Nienke had a cat that came from time to time and say hello to all of us. So in a way we felt also close. And as you know, it's, uh, we will look back to 2020 and despite every difficulties, there were also nice things to, uh, to show. So you see, you will be amazed if we look together back to 2020, you will be amazed how many things we accomplished together. And let's first go to the research, to the research highlights with the national roadmaps. For, for our unique facilities and the cutting edge that has been done within it, we received not less than two national roadmaps, one for, for, our, for our NMR facility and one again for our HFML Felix facility. That becomes almost a tradition for that uh, facility. So I think we should be really proud on this, it really proves that we did well, but that's not all. On the next slide, we see that an amazing number of colleagues obtained significant funding from NWO, as well in the individual funding schemes, such as the Veni, Vidi, Vici uh, funding schemes and Rubicon funding schemes, but also in larger 
interdisciplinary consortium, such as the NWA funding scheme and the science bake of NWO. And you can see how many of our colleagues and academics have been successful in that. This really, and given that competitive aspect of it, it is really amazing. Congratulations to all of them. But also at the European level, we were very successful again. Again, as well in the individual scheme with an ERC starting grant, but also again with that most competitive synergy grants of the ERC. And again, we were, we had two winning uh, people. It was Willem Haufman and Arno Kentens, and we celebrated that already earlier this year, also again in a typical Zoom meeting and in a live stream. We couldn't do it otherwise. It was not a nice party, but at least we enjoyed and we could share all our happiness with that together with that. And that success in that ERC grant is really remarkable because together with the success that we had last year, it really makes us the one most successful faculty, number one of the whole of Europe. So that is really something to be proud of. And we really should spread that news. We are really the best one in that. And it's quite remarkable also that if we compare that to a few years ago, that many of our fundings go to consortia, to interdisciplinary team science, research in, in bigger consortia. And that really proves that our faculty is future and our science that we do is really future proof to enter the next decade where team science will play a major role. Then if we look in the next slide, we also see that we got some really strategic collaborations again. And that's also quite important to build at these uh, strategic collaborations. We had one in the, uh, the ELIS, which is the European uh, departments that work together on cutting edge science in the fields of artificial intelligence. The name making department of artificial intelligence became one of the ELIS units. And secondly, we, within the framework of the European University Initiative, we got, we established the Neurotech Consortium with eight uh, important and top universities in Europe in the fields of brain research. So this is quite important also in the next decade. It really puts us in place to enter the next decade. So you will agree with me that this summary of achievements, even if it's short, is more than amazing, especially given the bizarre circumstances of last year. So I think congratulations to all of you, because everyone, everyone has contributed to this success. But also in our Huygens building, some memorable things happened. And as we can see in the next slide, we opened the, we opened the Huygens restaurant. And uh, the, with our new Gigabyte, we had a nice name of it invented that. Unfortunate, unfortunately, we couldn't enjoy it for a long time. We opened it and almost immediately after that, we had to stay home at, uh, for all of us. But let's hope that in 2021, we can enjoy it fully, this nice restaurant. And together with the opening of the Gigabyte, also we, we un un unraveled the uh, periodic table of elements, as you can see in the next slide. In there, there is a touch screen. And with that touch screen, their researchers of the Radbot University can tell their story of research. So the touch screen is continuously updated so it's really a great opportunity to showcase your results. So really contact your research if you want to showcase your research on that screen. Maybe not now because there are not yet visitors in the Huygens building, but hopefully in a, yeah, few, in a few time that will be the case. Then 
you can showcase it if you send it to our communication department. So I think that you agree that after all, there were things to, to remember about 2020. And now I think we can proceed to go to the presentation of the awards. But before that, I would like to state all of you that all of you actually deserve an award. An award. It was really, as I said already, heartwarming that everyone, teachers, researchers, but also colleagues of the support staff, all, devour, all deserve an, an award because everything that you have done to make run education and everything to as smoothly as possible. And that, that it is appreciated by students, I, we would like to prove that to you. And to show that, I would like you to look together with me to the short film that we made. See you later. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, well, also from my side, welcome everyone. And I would like to wish you also all the best in 2021. Here I am to announce the next winner of the science team prize. So last year, that was the first time that it was awarded by the science faculty for the that at that time it was the team of the photograph of the black hole. Well, these kind of big accomplishments, they uh, like this in science and in education at, uh, that are our main task at our university, they need some uh, larger teams of people and it cannot be done alone. And of course, we very much appreciate also people that as an individual uncover a new therapy, but, but with this team prize, we really want to shed light on those accomplishments that can only be done as a team a large team, a diverse team, a group of people. And this year, we are very pleased to announce that the team science, science team prize has been won by the Neurotech EU team. And the people that are involved in that uh, team are, some of them are here on the, are, you can see them now on the screen. So congratulations, you all. Um, so Neurotech EU is an interdisciplinary multi-university European broad consortium, as uh, already just uh, announced by uh, Lutgarde. Uh, it's a European university. Um, and I think this, this whole corona situation, of course, it's very negative in all uh, respects. But it did show that your, your plan to have a program uh, uh, at, the at the bachelor, master and doctoral levels in neuroscience that at different universities, so there are eight universities involved, that it can work the, uh, where people, where students and, and researchers work together from a distance, uh, uh, that these hybrid forms of education that it works. So I think that, that, that it really shows that, there's a, that it's very feasible and that there's a lot of promise for you to uh, make this a large success. Uh, this team uh, is not only consisting of staff members of the Faculty of Science, but also people from our educational office, the Radboud Innovation Science and Technology Transfer Office, and also not only people from our faculty, but also a lot of people from other places or at our university, so the IHUB, Radboud UMC, Faculty of Philosophy, Theology and Religion Sciences, the Donners Institute, Faculty of Social Science, Max Planck Institute, and a very important contribution of our university's uh, international office was very important to get this uh, uh, European university. So congratulations to you all. Um, we have a prize for that. I will show you in the camera. Uh, so yeah, they say it's rather heavy, but it's, it's OK. So, so this is your prize. So I'll, I will hand it over to you now virtually. Uh, you will also get, uh, each individual also gets a version of this, uh, a sent at home, a little uh, version of this. So, um, well, congratulations. And now I would like to give the word to one of the members, uh, Tansu Selikol. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. I believe I speak on behalf of everyone in the Radboud team for Neurotech EU that this is a huge honor. We are truly thrilled and we are grateful for this recognition. 
When we started our work to establish the Neurotech EU back in August 2019, we knew that this European university could potentially transform not only how we educate and train our next generation of students, but it will also help us to elevate our research and innovation to the next level. We have been lucky enough to be selected as a European university by the European Commission. Uh, with support from the European Union, we are now establishing our first trans-European programs in brain and technology. By bringing together more than 170,000 students, 70,000 researchers and staff across the eight founding universities of Neurotech EU, along with 250 partnering organizations throughout Europe, we are creating a Neurotech uh, ecosystem of education, research and innovation for Europe. One of the actions that excites us the most is the joint research and innovation ventures in this ecosystem. To realize the full potential of the synergy across the founders and partners, we have established the Neurotech Research and Innovation Cooperation Platform, which we call Neurotech RI. With the additional funding from the Horizon 2020, we will be building the Neurotech RI, which provides a common vision and a joint structure for cutting edge research in brain and technology. We are already forming a European graduate school as a test bed to implement our cooperative research and innovation programs already starting from this year. As you can imagine, such an undertaking requires a devoted group of individuals focused on the same vision, tireless teamwork and close-lit cooperation. In addition to the 26 of us at Radboud coming from four faculties, Donders Institute, Max Planck Institute and the International Office, there are literally several hundreds of individuals across the founding universities who work together to make Neurotech EU a reality. As a matter of fact, just the management platform for Neurotech EU includes 155 individuals, students, staff members, faculty members, and Neurotech RI has an additional 64 individuals committed. We would like to thank the award committee once again on behalf of everyone at Neurotech EU as we graciously accept the award. And before Richard kicks me out of this virtual stage, we would like to wish all of you a happy, healthy, successful and prosperous new year. Thank you. Tansu, then uh, I would like now to give the word to uh, Nicolo de Groot, Vice Dean of uh, Education for the announcement of the uh, Education Awards. Nicolo. Yes, thank you, Richard. Um, dear colleagues, uh, dear students, uh, also from my part, a very happy new year. I hope it's going to be a better year than uh, the ones we had so far. It's a great honor to, uh, uh, to be awarding the education awards uh, for the past year, especially since it's been a, in some aspects, terrible, in some aspects, very special year for teaching. Uh, the corona crisis made it necessary to change a lot of things about teaching and all of our teaching staff and the support staff with it has made a major effort to keep teaching going as well as we could and in that sense we all deserve an award. Uh, I want to also thank the students, uh, especially the ones that arrived here this year. Uh, they got off to a rough start, uh, still I see them making the best of the situation, being very understanding and very constructive in how they deal with the online education. That said, I think it's, uh, it's great that we have a number of excellent candidates for this award. Uh, we take teaching very seriously and it's always very satisfying every year to see a couple of excellent teachers being nominated. Uh, that's also true for the Senior Award. We have three excellent candidates there. All three teach very well. They get very high ratings for their teaching from students. They make complicated things look easy. Uh, but they also do something extra for teaching. They're involved in all the things around it. Into the, uh, They're involved in the academic community that we hear. So it's a great pleasure to announce the nominees for the Senior Teaching Award for past year. That's Peter Klaren, Jurian Metz and Alexander Kachatorian. Welcome guys. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for all you have been doing for uh, 
the teaching at this faculty, it's uh, very much appreciated by your students who uh, gave you all three uh, rave reviews. Um, and it's great to have this community of teachers who is so committed to providing top education uh, to our students. I'd like to go out now to announce the winner for this year, and the winner is Alex Kachatorian. Congratulations. The uh, jury was uh, very impressed, uh, both by the quality of the teaching, your students mentioned your enormous drive and enthusiasm while teaching, um, but the other aspect is that you've done an awful lot for the improvement of teaching in, uh, uh, in physics and astronomy uh, in, as a member of the teaching committee and, and in general. So very much deserved and thank you very much. Ah, yes. Wow. And uh, it's waiting for you at the faculty. Alex, please. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm very honored and very touched and congratulations. And thank you also to Jovian and Peter. Um, I don't have so much to say. I'm actually quite uh, flabbergasted um, and, and touched. Um, I can only say that it's uh, an absolute honor and privilege to be involved in education at the university. It's been one of the more rewarding things that I've experienced thus far in my career. And, um, and I'm always so appreciative uh, at how open and welcoming everybody uh, is at the university with education. Um, and I'm just glad that I can play some kind of role. And thank you all for uh, appreciating this. Uh, thank you. And we now move to the Junior Teaching Award. And this year we had a special situation, uh, probably due to the uh, corona pressure. Not all the institutes actually nominated candidates. And uh, that is a pity because there's a lot of young talent uh, amongst our teaching staff. And it's incredibly encouraging to see how committed they are to teaching, how much energy they bring into it. Uh, we do have two excellent candidates here, which I want to uh, uh, announce. So the nominees for the Junior Teaching Award of the faculty are Fleur Zeldenrust and Timothy Budd. Uh, welcome, and uh, it's a pleasure to uh, have you here. You've both been uh, uh, nominated by the, uh, the Institute, uh, one uh, for mathematics, physics and astronomy, the other for biosciences, and uh, Fleur, you're uh, for, yeah. okay, you're back. Um, you got very good reviews uh, from your students, uh, both of you, and uh, they praise your, uh, no, not, not just your explaining the stuff very clearly, but also your, your drive, your enthusiasm for teaching. Um, I'd like to go and announce the winner of this year, and the winner is Fleur. Congratulations. The uh, jury uh, was very impressed with your teaching, but also your uh, everything you're doing for uh, the innovation of teaching and the improvement of teaching. Uh, your uh, lectures are well rated, they're easy to follow, uh, they're very much liked by the students. Uh, but you've also been very active in, in developing new teaching methods and teaching uh, in general in the faculty. And for this, uh, we thank you. So also for you, there's the other one, which I'll sort of hand over to you virtually. And uh, uh, I'll uh, give the word to you. Thank you very much. I'm also very honored. Um, I also want to say, it, well, first of all, that that it's of course the, the, the students that make the teaching so much fun. So I, I, I'd like to yeah, thank the students for being so appreciative and so understanding in, in these hard times for uh, yeah, joining this as kind of a new adventure also for them. So that, that was the first thing. Uh, and the second is, I think, also the, the team. I mean, it's the teaching and learning points. It's the, the, the fellow teachers from both this university and other universities. I think we're, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's great. And also my assistants, the tutor, I mean, everyone, it's, it's a great team to work together to, uh, to um, so in that sense, it's also team science. Um, 
yeah, it's great that we can all join together to uh, to to make this a success. So I'm very grateful to be to be allowed to be part of this team. This concludes the uh, education awards, and I'm now going to hand over to Remy for the student awards. Good morning. My name is Remy and I'm this year one of the two student faculty assessors. Each year the student award is handed out to a student that dedicates their time to being involved with the faculty and its students. 2020 was a year like no other. In March the faculty was suddenly forced to transform its education to an online version. This required the capacity to adapt to this new situation as fast as possible from all of us. Before I introduce our nominees, I would like to say something else. When reading the recommendation, it became clear that student assistants played a big part in transforming the tutorials and the material to an online environment. Therefore, on behalf of all the students, I would like to thank all the student assistants out there for dedicating their time into helping us getting through the material. Now let's move on to introducing the nominees. Welcome, uh, Lea, Stan and Inke. Hi. All right, so the first one up is Lea Nuchtere. She started her bachelor in artificial intelligence at the social sciences faculty. She did a board year for Olympus, and she's also involved in various activities in up to four different study associations. And this year she started her master in data science at our faculty. In her recommendation letter, she's praised for always helping others and her positive influence. She also helped set up Student Aid, which is a student initiative for lowering the threshold to seek help. Stan Fransen uh, did his master, is doing his master in molecular sciences. In his board year at the study, study association Sigma, he was the commissioner extern and he managed to stabilize the financial position of the association after they had a rough time. He also heavily restructured the acquisition committee. Last year, Stan Franse was the faculty assessor of our faculty. Um, one of the things he set up was a subsidy to compensate study association so they are able to go for a more environmentally friendly way of transport during their study trip. When the corona crisis started, soon suddenly became invisible for the faculty board. In his recommendation letter, both staff and students state that Stan became the eyes and ears of the board and he, that he managed to represent the students very well during this time. Then lastly, Nienke Wessel. Her interdisciplinary interest is demonstrated in the fact that she's doing four different studies and is active in very various extracurricular activities. She is active in various committees, she's a student assistant for multiple courses, and she did a board year at ISON, Olympus, Tartarus, uh, the Faculty Student Council. To continue the sum summation, she was also in the University Council. Um, she and she is also one the other faculty assessor of this year. In her recommendation letter, she's being called a role model, and a lot of students state that they now would never have passed their course without her. They al it also says that her positive attitude uh, made sure for various changes in the faculty and the university. So, it's clear that it was hard for the jury to pick a winner. It's clear that Lea had a positive influence on her fellow students and that she has a great compassion. Stan took some best big hits during the crisis, but also managed to turn that around and prevent a lot of them. Nienke has meant a great deal in various organs and student participation. In the end, we were able to decide for a winner. Therefore, I am very pleased to announce that this year's winner of the Student Award of 2020 is Nienke Wessel. So congratulations, Ninka. A bouquet of flowers will be sent to you later, and you will also receive a voucher of 200 euros. And I'm now giving the word to you. Um, yeah, I, I just want to say thank you for all the people that uh, nominated me or supported my nomination. 
and um, yeah, the best 2021 uh, for all students and faculty employees. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're almost reaching the end of this meeting. Before I give the word back to Lutgarde, I would like to wish you all a very happy new year. I hope that all your families and friends are safe and that you stay healthy. At last, I would like to wish all the students good luck for studying for their exams. And now back to Lutgarde. Word to Lutgarde. Thanks to all of you, and then uh, also congratulations to all award winners. To all of you, I hope you enjoyed this live stream and this meeting, and many thanks to all the people who made that possible, who did a lot of effort to make that possible. Thanks a lot. And then the only thing I want to do is, uh, is to wish you again a very happy 2021, I wish I can, I can, I hope, I wish and I hope I can see you soon again live in uh, the Huygens building somewhere, somewhere. And my wish of 2021 is that Corona will be again simply the place of professors in an official gown in an, in an academic ceremony. So let's hope we see you again soon and you're all invited for the New Year's, New Year's ceremony of the, of the board of the university. In a few in a few time. Bye bye.